G'day frothers, welcome to the New Spirit Podcast. My name is Shrek, the host of this sucker, interviewing spearing legends from around the planet. Today we're off to North Stradbroke Island. It's a, a round table discussion with uh, eight of the latest batch of students on the second ever uh, Stradbroke Island spearfishing course uh, run by myself and Kieran Limpus. We had an absolute blast and I hope it comes through loud and clear in this conversation. Uh, before we get there, a couple of quick shout outs. Um, oh, also, if you're interested in doing a spearfishing course, they're going to restart again in September after my wife and I have welcomed our latest addition to the family and sort of settled in a wee bit. I'm planning on firing them back up in September alongside Karen again. Uh, if you are interested in doing them, go to noobspearer.com forward slash spear course, S-P-E-A-R c-o-u-r-s-e spear course noobspear.com forward slash spear course and you'll find a registration form there basically we'll send you an email as soon as the next courses are up and you can try and lock in a spot um i've had lots of interest and uh, this course filled up so quick it wasn't even funny and uh, really grateful for the the absolute legends that have come on board it's such an experience and the people that are doing the course bring just as much to it as you know as the instructors and stuff it's just a rad location and again i hope it comes through loud and clear in this chat um also 99 spare recipes is going off it's uh it's now in 19 retailers and soon to be a couple more as well thanks to legends just like you who are taking copies of 99 spare recipes into their local bcf spearfishing retailers etc and showing them the quality of the book because until you've got it in your hands it's hard to believe it's 1.6 kilograms of just frothers actionable seafood recipes and uh cheap as some there are some fantastic spiro chefs um out and about and um she was one of them, Derek Tan. What a legend. Uh, uh, if you want to check out some of his work, uh, Gia Taku by Derek on um, Instagram. It's uh, Gia Taku, G Y O T A K U uh, by Derek, D E R Y C K. He's a legend. He's got a bunch of recipes in this book and he's selling it in his store in Perth there. Um, so check it out. Find his Instagram in Perth. You can go and buy copies from his um, Gia Taku showroom. Uh, do that. There's a bunch of other retailers. Just quickly, Spearfishing Superstore in Cairns, Spear West in Perth, uh, Boss Outdoor Marimbula, Fergo's Tackle World in Wollongong, Batavia Coast Dive and Water Sports in Geraldton. We've got Adreno Aspley, Adreno Woolongabba, Adreno Gold Coast, Adreno Melbourne, Adreno Sydney, Adreno Perth. These guys are pumping through the cookbooks. Go and buy 99 Spear Recipes. Tiger Tackle have still got it in North New Zealand. Jared's got a second box in his hands now. Neptune, Spear and Dive in Mackay. Caitlin's got the book there. Uh, East to West Freediving in British Columbia. Canada have got it. Can't, I can't even believe it. Spearfishing UK and Cornwall have got it. Uh, Thwaites Marine and Coffs Harbour have got it. Exmouth Tackle and Camping Supplies. Steve's got a box there. Sky Spearfishing in Scotland. Aaron's got a copy. You've you've got a he's got more than a copy he's got twelve copies right there, um, guys. Legends are stocking ninety nine spare recipes from all over the planet. You can always get it at noobspear.com or off Amazon, but go in and support these spearfishing retailers. Buy it in person. Support these frothers. It's you know it's just it's the rising tide of frothers. That's all I've got to say. Um, another word. Another quick one um one of the team was hitting me up the other day for um more of our community wearing noob Spiro merch i'm not sure if you're aware of it but go to noobspiro.com up in the store section there there's a bunch of really cool like t-shirts and merch uh there's a spiro dad series there's the jobfish tribute there's uh there's the rancid pelican series go and check it out buy yourself some gear and if you rep it Take a photo of you in it and send it in, and you can win another free T-shirt and a signed copy of 99 Spare Recipes to go to go with it. Um, tag us on IG wearing one of our shirts or merch. Go in the draw to win that. Um, we're going to try and do one for April. Uh, anyway, let's get into this interview. Stradbroke Island Spearfishing Course, round two, with an absolute bunch of legends. Here we are. Shop for your spearfishing gear at adreno.com.au in-store and online. You can use the code NoobSpiro to save 20 bucks on any purchase, over $200. Why would you shop with Adreno, I hear you say? Well, <clears throat> let me lay it out. Flat rate shipping, $9.99 on all orders. Hassle-free returns policy. Australia, price match guarantee. Shop now, pay later with Afterpay. Fully sick brands. 
huge, obnoxiously ginormous range of great spearfishing gear made just for legends like you. Go Adreno, go pro, don't be slow. Shop massive spearing gear at Adreno. I'll stop, Shrek. That's a no no. But seriously, shop with the Noob Spiro's longest running partner, Adreno. Head to adreno.com.au online or in store at their huge mega stores. Use the code Noob Spiro to save 20 bucks on any purchase over $200. Are you US based looking for free diving, spearfishing gear? Neptonics is the best. Their online website is so easy to use. If you've got any questions, Jerry and the team answer questions via phone, email. Anyway, they've got an easy contact form on the site. Uh, these guys are absolute legends. And uh, if they sell it, they believe in it, they back it, they use it themselves. It's tough gear that works. Visit neptonics.com. Use the code NOOB10 to save 10% on any order at neptonics.com. That's right. Use the code NOOB10, N-O-O-B-10 on your next order. Save 10% at neptonics.com. Hey buddy, how's your breath hold going? Really? You struggling? I do too sometimes. And that's why I've got something perfect for you today. I think you'll agree with me when I say that maintaining or even increasing your breath hold is a struggle, especially when you're not slaying fish every week. But what if I told you there was a way to train yourself easily and do it safely? Freediving for spearfishers at howtofreedive.com will help you to extend your breath hold, understand your body better, and put you in a better position when you actually get to go out spearfishing. This program, Freediving for Spearfishers, is not for noobs. Uh, it's for people who have some diving under their belts and understand basic spearfishing safety. But it's perfect for spearos who want a guided, easy to follow, and complete program with videos, a clear process, and a set goal. The goal is a five minute static. And check it out freediving for spearfishers at howtofreedive.com. You can get started for free, do the taster, and if you do decide to purchase, use the code NOOBSPIRO, N O O B S P E A R O, to save some money if you do decide to purchase. Check it out at howtofreedive.com. G'day guys, we're here at the back end of another um, Stradbroke Island spearfishing adventure. I'm here with uh, Kieran Limpus, the other instructor. Kieran, another fantastic course. You're Kieran. You're Kieran. Come on, Kieran. <laughs> Kieran's locked up. No, this is this is Amala. Um, Amala joined us for the course with her dad, Nick, and uh, we had an absolute blast. Amala was slaying fish with um, one of my boys today, Troy, and had an absolute... Good time. What do you reckon, Emma? It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. It's uh, been awesome to have some young ones out on this course. And um, yeah, we'll come back to Amala in a minute. I might shoot over to Karen, um, our other instructor. Um, Karen, what did you think, mate? Have we, uh, did we make some improvements over the last one? Yeah, definitely made some improvements. Um, yeah, a lot of things have gone a lot better, a lot smoother. Some of the areas that we changed for running a few different uh, pieces have definitely made things lots, a lot easier as well. I think we can still make some improvements again, but some of the things we definitely did have really improved the course. We didn't quite have the same amount of water clarity at times on this course, but I felt like we still had good enough fizz for the course. Um, probably average four to five metres, with some stuff out to 10 at times, but also some down to sort of like three meters as well. So what did, yeah. what did you think? Yeah, that, that was pretty accurate for the this I would reckon to be, but that unfortunately came down to the sheer volume of rain that we've had leading up to the course, mm. uh, which to be expected, the, mm. the viz wasn't as great, but it's definitely gonna be a lot better coming up. Mm. Standout performance for you on the course? Um, We'd like an underwater hockey bloke, I reckon. He was all right. Yeah, especially with those short fins. He was definitely keeping up with the guys yeah, with the proper yeah. spearing fins. So definitely on that side there. We had some guys that have been spearing in the past. They have managed to land some decent fish as well. So pretty stoked with that. And yeah. especially the juniors slaying away on the, those pike. They yeah. loved it. Yeah. That was so good to see. We had the pranger out on a short spear gun, some 12mm um, bands so they could load it themselves. Um, Jeff joined us again for this course and he was able to look after the younger ones as well as Nick. And um, I think Troy shot two fish in one shot at one time. I didn't hear that part. That's even better. Yeah, yeah. that's epic. But no, I greatly appreciate the, the hand that Jeff has given us this course in terms of helping out around for 
you know, cleaning up after meals and stuff like that while we're giving presentations as well as just helping with the juniors around as well. It was really mm. good. Plenty of wildlife around this weekend. We've had uh, wallabies in the front yard. We've had curlews. We've had, I saw a koala on the way back from dropping the last two blokes oh, off at the lucky. boat ramp. We had the koala last time, not this time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's such a cool island, eh? It's like a mm. turn the pace back a bit on life and just um, just enjoy some good food and good company. I'm really enjoying the fact it's away from the hustle and bustle this time, not like the, the Anza, uh, Australia Day weekend last time when it was just jam-packed yeah. everywhere. It was non-stop. Let's go to one of the stars of the show, Stephen. He was the famous man in underwater hockey fins. Stephen, we've had a blast having you, mate. How have you um, felt about the course um, with all your experience in the past spearfishing and under, with underwater hockey? How did you go with the uh, freediving side of things? Did you learn some stuff? Yeah, with the freediving, definitely learned um, just a few more techniques, um, the breathing techniques and uh, – Different to playing underwater hockey and the recovery breath that you do there, um, which is different for obviously free diving, um, and just being around other people that are doing it at a you know just at a nice slow pace where you can just build up mm. the skills and reinforce the things that I sort of knew in the background but didn't really understand the principles behind. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, you were talking a bit about the recovery breathing that we that we teach guys. It's, um, what did you learn about recovery breathing in specific? Um, just the different way of doing it, you know, it's a short exhale um, with an inhale, so the partial pressure, um, yeah. keeping that in the lungs for the first three breaths. And what's the purpose of it, though, for people that are unfamiliar? Um, just to keep the, the pressure within your lungs um, to allow you to recover quicker. Yeah, get oxygen into your bloodstream yeah. faster, pre prevent a blackout at the surface, yeah, 100%. Yeah, if you're on the edge and you've had a longer dive, it's a good little technique to have like that muscle memory. Um, it's something we we go pretty hard on in the course, and um, Jeff was hammering the kids with it, uh, making sure they had their surface protocol A grade. So it was pretty cool. Um, you shot a good fish today. We uh, smoked it up. Yeah, it's, we oh, look, it up. We're not talking ego uh, points here. Yeah. We're talking eating value. E eating value. Yep. Everyone enjoyed it. Yeah. Mixed how do in. how do we end up eating your fish? Smoked it. We smoked it. Put yeah. it through a salad. Very nice. Troy chopped up the cheese for that salad. Some smoked cheese as well. Yep. Some it's smoked some, cheese some as well. Smoked yep. cheese, smoke cheese well. smoked fish. You can't go wrong. Bit of cost lettuce. Yeah. Mm. Nah, mate, it's been a pleasure to have you along. Yeah, and uh, I love having some um, experienced guys like you around. You're always turning back and helping the people that are just starting this journey. And you're probably refining a few skills and... Um, sort of consolidating some of the stuff that you've done over the years. So I hope it's been of use to you. Yep, it's been great. Thank you. Cool. Do you, Troy, you want to you want to share some of your experiences, buddy? Today you were you were like uh, Rambo, apparently. What? You were like Rambo. What did you do with this pranger right here? Jeff sort of told me you shot two fish in one shot. Is that true? Yes, I got two fish in one, school, um, one shot. Can you describe the spear gun that you were using today? Like, was it a big spear gun? What was different about the head of the spear? Um, it was, like, multiple. Multiple prongs, yeah. And we call those a pranger as opposed to, the, like, the flopper head. Um, do you feel like that that was good for doing what sort of the spearing you were doing today? Yes. Yeah. And so you were shooting a, at a school of pike and you got two in one shot. How did we end up eating that fish? We just cut it up and then smoked it. Yep, the other guys had sashimi, but you weren't game, were you? No. <laughs> but smoked, how did the fish go? It was very good. Yeah, cool. Um, the underwater world for you, is this something you want to do into the future? Um, I don't know. You don't know? He did say he likes underwater hockey, though. Yeah, I yes. hear, I hear. Wants to have a crack at underwater hockey. Stephen's been here evangelising my children to go to his underwater hockey cult, and uh, they all wear odd... Um, headwear and DTs. It's a very exclusive club. And once you go, you it's like Hotel California. You, once you go, you can never leave. But they are all very much addicted to that underwater hockey lifestyle. And I think underwater hockey. We'll come back to you in a sec about hockey because I think it's really good for sparrows. Um, what what appeals to you about underwater hockey, Troy? Um, I just I used to play hockey when I was a bit younger, and I like swimming so. Together, so it's, it's a natural fit. Yeah. yeah, cool. All right. It's a little bit more like ice hockey than 
Hockey, hockey, though, I reckon. But cool. Oh, good. Um, can you pass that mic on to Nick? So Nick is Amala's father, and uh, Nick has um, has his hands full with this one. Let's put it that way. She's um, she's very um, decisive, bold. She's definitely got that leadership on her, and she's been really fun to be around this weekend. But she likes to throw her weight around, doesn't she, Nick? All 30 uh, kilos of it. Yeah, no shortages of confidence at this at this stage. <laughs> yeah. As a dad bringing uh, your daughter on the course, um, what were you hoping to achieve and, and how did you guys go? Yeah, we were, we've been super psyched for this course for ages. Um, yeah, we, we just, we're, we've been big into fishing and we've been, yeah, definitely dreaming about getting out spear fishing for, um, with these guys for ages and, um, yeah, just getting Amla's confidence up and maybe future world champion of uh, spear diving, eh? <laughs> spear fishing. <laughs> well, she's already like the Usain Bolt. She was just like <laughs> holding for the bottom. and uh, But just that contagious enthusiasm too she has, like I think it's cool to be around. Yeah, I was, I was so stoked when she got her first fish. I was, uh, yeah, that was definitely been my highlight of the trip, actually. <laughs> yeah, awesome, awesome. And you shot a fish yourself shortly thereafter? Yeah, well, if Amla got a pike, I had to join her. <laughs> 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 Can't let her have a one-up on me, I think. <laughs> yeah, awesome. <laughs> what, were, um, what were some of the key takeaways for you, some of the things that you maybe surprised you about what you learned on this course? Yeah, um, yeah. well, I mean, my ears were slightly, uh, need a bit of work, which I'll, I'll work on. Um, yeah, I mean, just the whole all rounds, like, yeah, I feel like we're in a good place to, we've been sponges to the information you guys are throwing to us, and we're just going to run with it now and just, uh, we're, yeah, we feel like we're, we're pretty confident now to to hit a lot of uh, places and try and improve upon our pikes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, yeah, um, yeah. no, it's, it's been awesome. It's pretty cool just those first few species, ticking them off the list and yeah. being right there, you know, while your daughter takes her first few fish, I reckon that's a pretty cool memory. Yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, it's been so good having, I mean, Jeff's been like, although I'm her dad, like Jeff's her spearfishing dad, I reckon. <laughs> 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 no, I think, I mean, I think, I hope Pamela looks back in the future and she just, this is the start of big things to happen and she'll just remember everyone, I think. Yeah. Awesome. Well, good on you for, um, you know, bringing your daughter out and um because a lot of people these days are so risk averse you know and um spearfishing is an intimidating thing for a lot of adults let alone kids yeah. and so I, I hope we've been able to provide you with a pretty cool environment for for doing that yeah it's been unreal just and just giving her a chance to to show well to to build and make some responsibility in in this world i think is is yeah great stuff yeah. so yeah she was making good decisions today to your credit like um and to her credit as well like she was self controlled at times like um i she switched from a short gun to a large gun and i just said to her hey be aware that this thing shoots a lot further so you got to watch what's behind it and she had an opportunity to shoot a fish but there was a rock behind it and she didn't shoot she waited and then she she swam in a wee bit and tried to get down a bit further so she got a better shot angle and she's 11 and she's already making good decisions like that in the water that's the kind of stuff i really love to see so um credit to you guys as parents but also credit to her as well yeah we just um can't wait one day we're gonna send a picture back of uh her prize wahoo holding up Soaring above her. The world record. <laughs> the world record. Yeah, awesome. Killfish with precision and power, sending shafts from a stable platform with Kill Shot Spear Guns. Made in the Florida Keys by Ed Martin, you're buying American made dependable spear guns. Get $30 off any Kill Shot Spear Gun at killshotspearguns.com. Yes and amen, Nuba. That's $30 off. American-made performance spear guns at killshotspearguns.com. It says if they're in the shop or on the phone, they can cash in by saying, Crikey, mate, or the Noob Spiro podcast sent me. Check them out at killshotspearguns.com, based in the Florida Keys. Great news, guys. Adam Stern has made his freedivingfamily.com courses available at a discount for the Noob Spiro community. If you get on freedivingfamily.com, use the code SPIRO, you'll get 20% off any course there's a bunch of sick courses on there there's an equalizing uh stage one there's an equalizing advanced techniques um video there they're two of my absolute favorites if you have any problems with equalizing go to freedivingfamily.com 
Get Adam's course and use the code SPIRO to get 20% off any course. Check it out at freedivingfamily.com. Freediving for Spearfishers at howtofreedive.com will help you to extend your breath hold, understand your body better, and put you in a better position when you actually get to go out spearfishing. This program is not for noobs, as this program is for people who have some diving under their belts and understand some basic spearfishing safety, but... It's perfect for Spiros who want a guided, easy to follow and complete program with videos, a clear process and a set goal. The 5 Minute Freediver works. Get started for free and see if it's for you at howtofreedive.com. There's a tester there. Use the code NOOBSPIRO, N-O-O-B-S-P-E-A-R-O to save some money if you do decide to purchase. Check it out at howtofreedive.com. Freediving for spearfishers, a fantastic way to prepare, especially if you've got a big trip coming up. Get to that 5 minute mark and it does translate to your diving at howtofreedive.com. Let's go to our uh, our uh, what are we going to call Jeff? He's he's Shrek's little helper for sure. Diesel Weasel, Spit Gramps, Spear Gramps. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> uh, nah, Jeff, mate, you've been um, awesome help um, in 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 every way, looking after the kids a lot, and um, just providing logistical support with your car, with you know, with the you know, keeping the houses clean, like, you know, all the stuff that we just need to do to, to run these things smooth. So it's been awesome. And Karen probably wants to say something too. No, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on board again, mate. And the, the amount you've helped out has been greatly appreciated. It's really helped us along and, and allowed us to um, perform better for, uh, for our, both ourselves and also the, those that we're trying to teach as well. We greatly appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, all good, guys. Uh, thanks for inviting me back. Yeah, it's just a, you know, I just sort of had to get that discounted price again yeah. just to make sure yeah. that, you know, we got value for money. Yeah. It was good this time around. I got me um, the books signed that I got from the first trip, so which is great. So yeah. I'm happy with that. So thanks, Shrek. Yeah. Um, he asked yeah, me to no, cook recipes out of it too, and I was like, nah, nah, not this time, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I enjoyed it. It's it's just part and parcel of coming on these sort of retreats and courses everyone kicks in everyone helps and it wasn't just me but everyone pulled their weight and which is good and it was enjoyable with the kids watching them go from basically Amala um, Phelps to slowing right down Amala Phelps yeah, yeah that's yeah, right yeah, I remember slowing that. right down to you know making as you said making good decisions in regards to doing instead of focusing on the hand focusing on the target that she wants to hit hit and Young Troy, he, he he shot his first pike, and then after that it was pretty well much full bore from there. It's he knew exactly what to do from that first after that first fish. So which was yeah, you know, which is good. You know, and now I understand where, how you guys have said in the past where you get a bigger kick out of watching the participants shoot versus your own. Mm. Um, got an opportunity to come up early, got a chance to get in the water. Didn't get anything. That's fine by me. You guys got something, and that made me just as much happy to participate in, in that sort of stuff because mm -hmm. right? that's what I'm after is, is participation and getting in time on the water. So Jeff's got aspirations. Him and his wife are going to travel around Australia spearfishing. Um, that he's planning two years out really from that. But um, the bearded minister on Instagram, and you'll be able to keep up with some of his YouTube exports. I'm looking forward to seeing big things in the future. And, yeah, uh, yeah, which is good. Cool. So you're looking to build some relationships around Australia and and really showcasing proper spear fishing um, mm. in the in the the way that it is done properly in Australia. Yeah, instead of yeah, what people think it mm. is, it's it's not what people think it is. It's it's sustainable. People aren't looking to take multiple things and yeah. So, but that's what I'd like to do. But yeah, but obviously showcase Australia. Well. You've got the whole vibe of it for sure, Jeff. That's why um, we're, one of the reasons why we've loved having you back and uh, you'll be back again, I'm sure, mate. Oh, well, most definitely, yeah. Mm. Time in the water is the most important thing for me, so, mm. yeah, which is cool. Another man who wants to be back is Brandon. Um, he's shot arguably – no, not even arguably. He shot the fish of the trip. And, uh, Brandon, your spearing skills are pretty on point already. Um, we probably – I don't know how much we were able to offer you this week in terms of advancing those – but you really came here to get a formal freediving qualification as well as hopefully get out and do some spearing. Did you, get, did you achieve both of those goals? Yeah, um, freediving aspect, like um, 
yeah, information was just priceless. Like, so both Kieran and Shrek, I'm just going to tell you now, it's just 10 out of 10 from me. Um, <laughs> straight off the bat. Um, He's trying to get a discount for yeah, the next yeah, trip. Yeah, wow. next trip. Um, no, it's it, <laughs> from now, I started sparing about five years ago and I had really no idea about the whole importance of the education behind the freediving stuff. And so, like, if I can tell anybody, a freediving course is just a have to, a must. Um, so every, everything from the equalising of the ears, depth, um, yeah, budding up has been the biggest important thing for me is seeing more so what my buddy needs um, at stages of the dive and how I can help him as how I can help him as a person and just makes the whole experience of spear fishing so so much better when you've got a competent diver and yeah. a spear fisherman. Yeah. You work really well with John and I felt like um it was a pretty good buddy relationship there. Yeah. And uh, you feeding off each other's energy. And I felt like John got a fair bit of confidence off, off watching some of the stuff you were doing. So it was pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, no, John being a newbie anyway, I felt um, I had a lot to offer in the spearfishing sense. And John had a lot to offer me on the freediving sense. So, yeah, I felt like we worked very well as a team. Yeah, yeah for sure. Cool. Perfect. Um, any big significant takeaways apart from that massive Dewey you shot? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think. To be honest, taking it home and um, <clears throat> feeding the crowd, that was my biggest take. It's just me as a spear fisherman, that's exactly what I've got into sport, is just sustainability and making sure we can make use of the whole fish and just seeing, I think, at the end of the day, a smile on everyone's face that so we've done a good job. That <clears throat> It was a humane kill. Um, it was a good crowd of people that helped me prep the fish and from the, even the barbecuing and all the little issues that went on there, no gas to gas. Um, and then, yeah, just... the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, close the lid, getting in trouble at every corner of the, the cook. But I think we got there and I think we pulled up a very good result. Uh, everyone, yeah, to me, that's spearfishing. It's, it's, um, it's friends, it's family. It's just sharing what you have and making sure you make most of the whole fish. And so from the, from the spear going in to the end of the plate, that's, that's it to me. Mm, awesome, bro. Well, I'm glad you've had a good time and I'm glad you were able to come along. It's yeah, been a pleasure to have you. It's been really good. And because uh, you gave that 10 out of 10, we'll definitely discount you next time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I appreciate that. No, awesome, bro. Um, let's come back to Amala just briefly, the uh, the hero of the show. Bring it in, Amala. Um, in your professional opinion, Amala, who was the best instructor out of the, the two of us? Uh, and you can count Jeff in there too if you have to. Probably either you or Jeff because Kieran didn't get <laughs> because Kieran didn't get didn't give me his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah. Any any particular highlights apart from shooting fish? Um, probably when Diesel Weeks all told me to slow down doing that twenty five meter dynamic. Oh, yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, you did a good swim horizontal, yeah? Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Okay, cool. And you had to go at statics as well? Yeah, not really. Like, I was cold, freezing, shivering. Yeah, the water was only 25 degrees, so I can understand why. <laughs> but no, if you get cold, you get cold, eh? And that's yes. it. You guys got out and had a hot chocolate, didn't you? Yeah. Pretty tough? No. Nah. You consider yourself an Aussie battler with that with that that um, hot chocolate? No. No. What are you going to tell your um, friends at school about what you did on the weekend? Shot of massive um, fish. <laughs> <laughs> they don't need to know how big it was. They you just say Instead massive. Instead of being like, like an inch big. Yeah. Nah, that's cool. Yeah, and you ate a bit of your own fish. Yeah, it's sashimi pike, didn't you? Yeah, it was way better than the smoked sashimi. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's your humble opinion. It's the real opinion. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Amala. Love it. Yeah, Cap Captain Sass. <laughs> Captain Sass Phelps. Yeah. yeah. No, you've done well, Amala. Um, I'm, I'm sure your dad's really proud of you. Um, good job. It's been a pleasure to have you on the course. Okay, cool. Awesome. Let's come back to Karen. We'll... Um, Mate, um, a few of our students have already taken off because they've got family duties tomorrow. Um, we did have a, a bit of a we had a bit of a minor incident. Yeah, one of our students um, broke the golden rule. Broke the golden rule, um, but we got to take a look at that on the chin as well. 
Uh, I wasn't super happy to see a student go home with a burst eardrum. No, definitely not. And um, we're going to have to probably um, emphasise a bit more on, you know, there's no depth target. It's really hard, I think, sometimes when students are on these courses, they... If they're having problems equalising, they get maybe a couple of equalisations in and then they see the plate and then they, they go for it. Mm. And um, it's understandable because you just want to get down to that depth. But um, unfortunately, it hasn't ended well. And um, she's about a six weeks off off healing up and being able to dive again or even get in the water, really. Yeah, that's very unfortunate. But, you know, she, well, the way she's been stalk, talking still is that she's mad keen to still get back in the water. So when she is, we'll definitely get in contact. Well, hopefully she gets in contact with us and we'll get her out and we'll uh, we'll get her back in that water. She was going really good and her and her husband both um, very confident in the water, great people to be around. Um, she's a vegetarian but will eat fish that, you know, um, people that she knows or her or Tim shoot herself. I thought that was pretty admirable. They were really great uh, once you got them talking. Yeah, they were a great couple. And, and yeah, as you said, great to be around. They they really pitched in, helped out all across the board as well, especially in terms of, you know, just keeping the place tidy and the rest. And yeah. they, they had some good stories and that from when they're up back up spearing when they were starting out up at Ailey Beach and stuff like that as well, which is really great to hear. Yeah, cool. And uh, we already talked about John. He was buddied up with Brandon. He, I think he had a real good time as well. Would have been great to touch base with those guys on the podcast, but unfortunately they've already headed off. Unfortunately not. And um, we had Jesse come and join us, uh, a buddy of a buddy who's become a buddy, uh, which is always good. He's a, he was a rad dude, did some awesome underwater photography and videography for us. So I think we'll um, have to put some of it in the show notes for this episode. 100%. I can't wait to see how they turn out. He he's, was a top fella. He had some great stories of his own as well and was really enthused and keen to even hear what we were saying and, and teaching and and yeah, just like minded as well. Just wanted to get in, frothing on it all. It was great. Yeah, yeah. And that ex army mentality too, but just a super chill, super mm. a really confident and capable guy. He's awesome. Awesome to have around great energy. Um, we're gonna drop some some of this stuff in today's show notes. So if people go to noobspirit.com forward slash strati two. Because it's our second strategy yeah. course, and I awesome. feel like we have improved. We've um, there's still more to do. We've learned more again. Definitely improved. Um, it's definitely not the final edition, but uh, for for smooth sailing. But we'll definitely get there. For people wanting to check out one of these courses, um, there will be a QR code and a link in the show notes as well. So noobspirit.com forward slash strategy two. Put your name on the shortlist if you want. We'll we'll be running these um, weekends again, probably starting again in September. And uh, we're hoping to start running them monthly from then on. So if you are keen, I think it's a great way to knock out a level one paddy freediving course as well as get in and do some spearfishing in a pretty controlled and safe environment. Uh, and uh, with um, and we shot some cool fish this week and so did our, our crew. Yeah, it was really good. Like Just about everyone actually shot a fish this time, which is really good to see. Mm. Uh, really stoked on that level. Like A lot of – even just, uh, you know, had – Got off Stephen pointing out a, a nice brown sweet lips for for Tim and and getting actually watching Tim go down it's, as soon as he saw it oh he was on it was beeline he went for it <laughs> it was really good to see him actually yep land shoot yeah shoot and land that fish we had black spot tuskies shot we've had um, what else did we see oh we see the silver drummer um, the, the pikes whiting the pike. One of the kids also got a, a nice little butter broom as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was really cool. good. Super cool. Netted sweet lip. We had a, a whole range of species this time. It was great. Yeah. And still probably only shot 10 or 12 fish, so we're not having too much of an I impact on I wouldn't even say this, that many. Yeah, it was really on, good. On our little sweet location over here on Stratty. Um, yeah, again, guys, check it out, noobspirit.com forward slash Stratty2. Check out, we'll try and link up some of the guys' um, social media and uh, hopefully there'll be a trip vid for this one as well. We'll yeah, see awesome. how we go. And the, the alumni group is growing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, our alumni, the students that have completed the course before, and um, there'll be more trips to come in the past, not just this one. There'll be more opportunities well as well. Well, truly. For, oh, cool. All good, brother. Till next time. Done. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed today's interview. It was a little bit shorter than usual, um, but uh, uh, as you can tell from the legends that come on the course, it was a lot of fun. And uh, 
by this stage, I think um, nearly everyone had shot some fish, you know, and it was, it was just another cool experience, and I'm really looking forward to the next one already. If you're interested in that, go to noobspero.com forward slash spear course and put your name in there with your email, and you will be sent out uh, the next course date, September. We're going to kick that back off again. Try and run one a month, and um, it'd be great if you could come along. It's a really special thing. And... Um, 99 Spare Recipes, again, go, on, go into one of our retailers stocking it. Uh, there was a, a long list of them at the, at the start of the show. Get in and get amongst them. Support your local re- your local spearfishing retailers stocking 99 Spare Recipes. Also, guys, the uh, winner free t-shirt comp for April. Just take a photo in your Noob Sparrow gear. Tag us on Instagram and you could go in the draw to win a signed copy of 99 Spare Recipes and a free t-shirt. Get amongst it. Hey, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Thanks to the patron legends helping to power the podcast and the people like you who leave reviews for the podcast. Um, Thank you very much. Thanks for listening. I'll catch you in two weeks for another frothing mad, crazy interview. Catch ya. Are you looking for spearfishing gear in Australia? Head on down to your local Adreno Spearfishing Superstore today and explore their ginormous stores filled with mad gear and frothing staff on top of a huge selection of high quality australia price match guaranteed spearing kit and high quality experts bureau staff adreno offer afterpay and a super easy returns policy adreno will have you geared up for your next spearing sesh with a massive smile that's adreno spearfishing with stores located in perth aspley Woolloongabba, brisbane the gold coast sydney melbourne Get into it. Head in today or shop online at adreno.com.au. Use the code NoobSpiro to save $20 on every purchase over $200. Online or even better, in store. Your new spear gear is waiting for you. Absolutely mint customer service. Specialty spearfishing equipment, elite spear gun performance components, unforgettable reliability. You want to find out where to buy this? Punchaneptonics.com and shop at the best US spearfishing store, neptonics.com. Free shipping to the lower 48 when you spend over 199 and you can use the code NOOB10 to save 10%. This is your chance to save DOSH, buy deadly good gear, and experience A-grade customer service. Will you shop with the best? Visit neptonics.com. Use the code NOOB10 to start shooting 35-pound muttons tomorrow. Actual performance may differ from advertisement. Please refer to terms and conditions to see if you're eligible to be a legend like Shrek. This advertisement was not even endorsed by Jerry and the team at Antonics. Oorah and God bless America.